Okay, so I already have a video about uh, the study resources that you should use for the first year of your residency, the textbooks that you're supposed to read. And this is like a short follow up video on that about three other books that I would definitely want to recommend that I did not talk about in the other video. So let's hear it. Hi guys, this is Dr. Anmol. Welcome back. So to those of you who are new here, my name is Anmol. I'm a doctor based in India. And on this channel, I talk about all the things relevant to being a doctor and a dermatologist in India that I learned along the way. Today's video is going to be a short follow up of a video that I have already made. Uh, you can check out the video on the study resources for first year, the study plan for first year, the books that you're supposed to read. And uh, today uh, is just like a short part two of that. So let's hear it. So the first one is this short book called the IADVL Handbook for Dermatology Residents. It's a very short read. It's like a 200 page uh, compilation of some important articles that are very important for all first year dermatology residents. So I think I found out about this book quite late in my residency. And uh, I, I think this is a book that you should and you must read in the first year of your residency itself. It has a lot of basic stuff. Another reason why I'm talking about this book today is that uh, I recently shared a list of important articles on my channel in my last video. Uh, it has about uh, some 60 plus articles and this book contains all the additional important articles. So this book kind of completes the list of all the important articles that you're supposed to read. So it mainly contains all the uh, important basic clinical skills, bedside investigations, certain other investigations. So it's like an outline of that, all the articles, uh, for, for example, articles about Woods Lamp, everything that you need to know about Woods Lamp, Nicole's key sign, Kibner's phenomena, uh, Blaschkoid lines. So this book literally has like many, many SAQs of paper one, but at the same time, the topics are so basic. So I really feel that instead of giving it a read towards the end of your exams, I think this is something you must read in the first year itself. It's a very short read. So finish it off in the first few months. It will be really helpful for the rest of your residency. So as you can see, this is the index of the book. It contains all of these basic topics, Kibner's, Nikolsky science, Scaly science and dermatology, Blaschkoid lines, uh, dermatographism, uh, Woods lamp, how to do KOH mount, how to do a Zank smear, uh, what are the methods of specimen collection for STIs, about trichogram, dermoscope, intradermal tests in dermatology. So all of these things are very important. They are, these are direct questions, especially the ones that I've picked. So that was number one. Uh, number two is a book called Ward Rounds in Dermatology. This is another book that I think that you should read it in the first year of your residency itself, especially the first seven chapters. It's basically more important for your practicals, but uh, it has some real good practical oriented knowledge. So it would be very useful for you when you're doing your ward work uh, during your case presentations. This is something that you must go through. It's basically more about uh, all the long cases that you're going to come across, uh, like the important long cases like vesicular bullous diseases, connective tissue diseases. So it basically gives you uh, an orientation of how to approach these cases, the important history and examination, the commonly asked questions on these topics. So it's, it's more of practice practical oriented, but uh, it's very helpful. So I think I, I would recommend that you read it in, in the first year itself. So this is the index. So like I said, the first seven chapters are straight out important long cases. And this is what the chapter looks like. So basically the important history points, the things that you should not miss uh, on history and examination, the investigations that you need to do, other important asked questions, treatment plan, all of that is covered. So it's a very informative read. Finally, the last book that I'm going to talk to you about today is called Compendium of Dermatology for Examinations. And the name of the book says it all. You know, they have literally compiled a lot of important information about almost all the topics in dermatology and put it together in the form of the small book. It, it, it has a lot of knowledge. It kind of gives you like a brief idea about all the important short cases and long cases that are commonly encountered. Uh, it very beautifully explains all about them in brief. So the important introduction, epidemiology, pathogenesis, diagnosis, treatment, all the important points, but covered in very brief, very important information summed up together. So I think it's a good book to get an orientation of the subject. So this is what it looks like. And this is the index. Uh, you can see the topics that are covered. Almost all the important topics that we see. So it's, it's not that small a book as the previous two that I've mentioned just now, but it's definitely worth the read. Uh, this is how they have covered uh, these topics. You can see that they have just in brief explained the topic, all the important features. They've included a lot of good tables. They have also given pictures. 
and you know the complete uh, diagnosis prognosis treatment options everything's basically covered so it's like a nice short orientation about the topic so that's all for today i hope you found this helpful feel free to reach out to me uh, if you have any queries you know where to reach me i'm available on instagram and you can also email me at this email id i hope you found this helpful and if you did please like the video and uh, subscribe to my channel and share it with others who might need it please let me know in the comments other topics that you would like me to cover and i would be happy to talk about them thanks a lot for being here i'll see you in the next one